This video is going to show you how to use a whiteboard feature that you can find for free online. You simply open up a new browser tab and go to the address whiteboard.fi. Once you get here, you'll be in this home screen and there is no login information or account to be created. It is simply a free website that you can use with your students. When you are coming here as a teacher, you are going to be creating a new class and you need to put a name in here. It is important to know that you can use the same name over and over again, but even if, though you are using the same name, it is creating a new code. It does not save anything. It does not keep your information. And so this new code is going to be different every single time. Now, you could simply give them the link to whiteboard.fi and ask them to use this code to join your class, or I'm going to highlight this one and then Control C to copy it and put it into a Google Classroom. So I'll create a new assignment here, and I'm going to put this in as a link for my students. So I'm going to call this our math whiteboard, and simply going to use this to show your work. So now I can give them this link. I paste it here. Again, it is the one that already has my code in it, and I can simply click add link. Now this is just going to be to get them to the whiteboard, so I'm not going to have any points assigned to it, um, but I might obviously still put it into math for this one. And I'll simply click assign. Now, instead of staying in my Google Classroom and seeing what my students are doing, I'm gonna come back to this whiteboard website. From here, I will see my students starting to join my class. They will have their names added to it, and I will be able to see all of their boards at the same time. It's important to note again, that there is no login information, so it's not keeping their name um, and it's not saving their work. The important other piece to know is that it is just going to be their board that they see and the teacher's board. They cannot see all the other student boards. So as we start seeing the boards popping up here, I can go to my whiteboard and start going through a few features. I have a pencil here and an eraser, obviously. You can change the width of things of how your writing is. Um, you can also change the color. You have the ability to do some typing. So if you wanted to put directions in here, you could actually say, um, figure it out. And let's go back here and give them some work to do. So. Just want to change the color. There we go. Oops, I'm going to erase that. And here we go. Now I can type or write my problems on here. And then looking at my class, you can see that they don't see anything yet. But from my board, I have the option to push it out to my students. So when I do that and I look at theirs, they're going to get the problems here and they could go in then and figure out the answers. It's important to note that I can click on each one and see their work. I also have the ability to kick a student out if they are not behaving. I have the ability to erase their board if they are doing something that is inappropriate. If I erase their board, but I still want them to complete the work, I can go ahead and push it back out to them again, and they will get my whiteboard again so that they can continue working. Hopefully this time they will be doing the appropriate information. Um, and then obviously I have the ability to close their board as well. All right, so I can see in real time that they're starting to put in some answers here. I'm gonna go back to my whiteboard and clear that off and give them a little bit more work. So now I might just continue on with my problems here. And again, push this out to my students and hopefully be able to see their work in real time. Let's see, did I push that out? There it goes. And so now they have new problems to work on. The nice thing to know about this again is that number one, it does not save anything. So if you wanted to, you would have to screenshot things. The other piece would be that you do have the ability to hide the names. So if you are doing a screen share in a Google Meet or a Zoom session, I could hide those names and then nobody would be able to see each other's name. They would just see the work that is happening if I'm sharing it that way. And I can clear all the whiteboards. So I have the ability to clear everybody's work that way. Now, this feature, I'm sorry, this website is fairly new and it is making um, improvements and including new features over and over again. They are in the process right now of being able to add images 
in here. So I would definitely recommend continuing to check back and see how this is working out. The last piece that you need to know is that when you are done, you do want to make sure that you come up to the settings gear and close the room so that the students are not still in there. Um, if there is no activity going on, the room will automatically close after 120 minutes. So the equivalent of two hours. Um, but again, you would want to make sure that your students are not in there without you. So two ways to do that, you could, again, create the new class and just give the students the code that goes along with it, or you could get the link from here and give them that um, in your Google Classroom. Either way, both of these are very nice and handy ways to see what your students are working on in real time. Enjoy.